I am Will Scott. Welcome in to Dolphins today. Sorry to rain on your playoff parade, Dolphins fans, but we did just receive some news on Raheem Mostert, who, of course, exited yesterday's game and did not return with an injury. We now know that he broke his thumb in Sunday's win against the Jets, and this would be a big loss for the Dolphins if he is indeed out for the playoffs, taking a look at what he's done this year, he is the leading rusher on the Dolphins, nearly 900 yards, averaging five yards per carry with three touchdowns. And what I'm looking at even further is how he did against Buffalo. Of course, the Dolphins taking on the Bills this weekend. And in the last matchup against Buffalo in Week 16, he went for 17 carries, 136 yards. And you may not have him, probably will not have him for the game against the Bills this weekend. And folks, this is why you subscribe. When Dolphins news breaks, we get you guys a video ASAP. Go down and subscribe the channel. A lot of news to discuss leading up to the playoffs. Of course, the Dolphins taking on the Bills on Sunday in the wild card round because they beat the New York Jets 11-6 to yesterday. Not 9-6 to because that safety on the final play uh, counted, so technically 11-6 to final score for the Finns. They are in as the AFC's seventh seed. They needed to beat the Jets. They needed the Bills to beat the Patriots. Stars aligned for Mike McDaniel's squad. They will take on the two-seeded Bills. And look, I understand, and I'll, and I'll reiterate what I said yesterday. I understand that the Dolphins limped to the finish line here, losing five of their last six games before finally winning in Week 18. But Dolphins fans deserve this. A lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. You don't need me to tell you that. You know <laughs> what we've all gone through. And even this season, it was a roller coaster year. Start 8-3, and three, lose five in a row, back to 500, 8-8, eight eight, uh, but they ultimately need to make the playoffs. So enjoy this, Dolphins fans. It is exciting to be in this position for the first time in a long time. Miami's going to try to win their first playoff game in 22 years when they take on the Bills, who are a 10-and-a-half point favorite right now. I think the uncertainty about Tua is playing into that, with the total being at 43-and-a-half. But we did learn late last night after Sunday Night Football that the game is going to be at 1 o'clock Eastern time in Buffalo, so the early game on Sunday at Highmark Stadium. And obviously the big question going into that matchup, is Tua Tungavailoa going to play? Right now we don't know, but Adam Schefter just said this on ESPN. Tyler Dunn tweeting this out. On ESPN just now, Adam Schefter thinks Miami is hoping – Tua Tungavailoa will be able to start Sunday against the Bills. They want to see how he progresses this week. And Tua has missed the last two games following his second confirmed concussion of the season. He is still in the concussion protocol. He has not been cleared yet. A lot of question marks about his status going in to Sunday's playoff game. It feels good to say that doesn't it, producer Patrick. I mean, a playoff game in Buffalo for the Dolphins on Sunday. Will to a play in Buffalo. P for play, W for won't down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment, so reply to it when ad break comes here in a second. Barry Jackson tweeted this out, kind of updating us on the protocol situation with Tonga Vailoa. Tua ended yesterday. Still in the first three steps of the concussion protocol. Unclear when three doctors will allow him to move to step four and then potentially step five. Any player must clear all five steps to be allowed to play. McDaniel will address Tua late today, Wednesday, and Friday. Those are the three press conference days for McDaniel this week. And let's revisit these concussion protocol steps so he has not exited step three yet. Once he gets to step four, then step five, then he can play. So right now, he is still in step three. And uh, we did not see two on the sidelines yesterday, probably because they wanted to keep him, you know, from the sun, you know, th you know just for his, for his head, obviously. He's still recovering from concussion. So he's watching the game from the tunnel with Raheem Mostert. And this was the scene as Tua and Mostert, who, of, of course, we, know now, we now know Mostert uh, is probably going to be out. But Tua and Mostert watching Miami's win from the tunnel. Special moment for those two probably wishing they could have been on the field yesterday uh, to clinch that playoff spot. But when you're talking about, you know, if Tua should play, if he shouldn't play, 
it should be to his call. If he is cleared, if the doctors clear him, if he exits the protocol, then it should be up to Tua Tungavailoa if he wants to play, if he's comfortable to play. Again, he's recovering from a second confirmed concussion that he suffered against the Packers in Week 16. I want to tell you about our friends over at Rocket Money. They are helping you save money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions. It's why I love using the app, formerly called Truebill, now called Rocket Money. They will track all your subscriptions and then cancel for you whatever you don't still want. You may even find out that you have been double charged for a subscription. To cancel one, all you got to do is press cancel. Rocket Money will take care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions now by going to rocketmoney.com slash dolphins chat. Again, rocketmoney.com slash dolphins chat. Another great thing about Rocket Money is they're going to track your expenses, how much you're spending per month. The goal for me this month is to spend less money than last month. And if the Dolphins make the, the Super Bowl, I'm probably going to buy a lot of million billions. That's not going to happen. But Rocket Money is going to track all my spending. RocketMoney.com slash Dolphin Chat. And when you say Miami, you're talking Super Bowl. You know how the song goes. Take a look at what Tua's has done this season. 25 touchdowns, 8 picks, 3 over 3,500 yards in a 64.8% completion percentage. By far the best season of his NFL career. And taking a look at where Tua ranked this year in the league, these are obviously final with the regular season concluding. He led the league in passer rating, led the league, or tied for the team, tied for the league lead at least, passing touchdowns per attempt, first in yards per attempt, and he leads the NFL in yards per completion. And this is why he should absolutely be the guy next year. I don't think you're going to upgrade a quarterback. I really don't. Tua Tungavailoa needs to be the guy. If he's healthy, if he still wants to play, I think that he needs to be the guy next year. No question about that. Here's what Ian Rappaport said about Tua Tungavailoa in his current situation. He went on the Pat McAfee show earlier today and said this, The way Tua has been treated is extremely interesting. I can't remember a player being treated like this. Nobody discusses anything if it's not happening today. He gets examined every day, and that's it. He has not been cleared. He has not returned to practice. Is there a chance he returns to practice this week? I would say that's in the realm of possibility, but no one has actually told me that's the case. Another interesting thing that Rappaport just said is that he expects Teddy Bridgewater to start if Tua Tungavailoa cannot go. Obviously, Teddy missed yesterday. Skylar Thompson came and won you that game. You know, one is a strong word because the offense <laughs> did not score a touchdown. But it would still be a tough call because on one hand, you have Teddy Bridgewater, who's a, by far, obviously, the more experienced player, has played in big games throughout his career and is number two on the depth chart. On the other hand, you have Skylar Thompson, who started last week, who led your team down the field to win that playoff game. I understand the offense struggled, but Skyler still showed a lot of poise and did not make a single mistake. No turnovers for Skyler Thompson. Now, if Tua cannot go, pick a quarterback. Who would you rather have start this weekend? Type Teddy or type Sky down in the comment section. Go down, let me know. For me, it's a tough call. And some people in the office were giving me a tough time. I would say Skyler Thompson. Go down, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have you covered throughout the entire week. Playoff season, very exciting. A lot of news to break down here in the coming days before Sunday's tilt with the Buffalo Bills. A game that the Dolphins can probably win. I have confidence.